Hi guys, you may remember a couple of weeks ago I had this power board with a blown mains fuse. I suspected that there was a short circuit on the board that caused the fuse to blow. In this scenario, if I simply replace the fuse, connect the power back to the board and there is a short circuit, it's possible that I can cause further damage to the board before the fuse inevitably blows again. So, in order to protect the circuit, I wired a bulb across the fuse holder like this here. This limits the current going into the circuit. Then by observing how the bulb lights up or how it doesn't light up, however it acts, I'm able to determine if there is a short circuit or not. Now while it was easy and convenient to solder a light bulb across the fuse holder on this particular board, sometimes it's not the best means of introducing a series light bulb. The fuse solder joints can be more difficult to access than on this particular board. You, you know when you're soldering the bulb in you risk possibly soldering the bulb in the wrong position or inadvertently connecting two joints that shouldn't be connected and when it is in place and you plug it in you have a 240 volt lamp hanging off the side of the board so there's a possibility of pulling the wire off the board and then you have a wire you know hanging around that's got 240 volts on it my, my point is it can be a bit messy and i just don't like doing it this way so what i'm going to show you next is how i implement a series light bulb please bear in mind that I didn't invent this trick by any means and there's many other implementations of it on YouTube but this is the way that I do it. Okay so the first thing we need is one of these. So this is described on my electrical wholesaler as a 5 meter 1 gang extension lead. And we also need one of these and this is described as a straight batten lamp holder. Before going any further I need to include a couple of disclaimers. Number one, please don't do anything with electrical wiring unless you have the proper qualifications and experience. And number two, the implementation of the series light bulb protection I show here is what I use with the Irish electrical system and is suitable for the Irish system only. The wiring colour system for Ireland has a brown wire as the live wire, yellow green wire as the earth wire and a blue wire as the neutral wire. This is our one gang extension lead right here. Now what I've done is I've zoomed in on the ends and I've shown where the wires go on each of the ends. So this is just a standard Irish plug. So the brown wire goes to the live which is the one with the fuse. The yellow green goes to the center pin at the top which is the earth and then the last one is the blue wire which is the neutral. So you can see how the wiring system works on both ends of this. So what I want to do here is I want to break the live wire of my one gang extension lead and introduce my series light bulb at this point. I usually introduce it about halfway down the cable and that means that anything that we plug in to this three pin socket will avail of our series light bulb protection. So let me show you how I do that now. This is my batten light fitting and our bulb. With our one gang extension lead plugged out I make an incision in the mains cable about halfway down. So I make the incision and then I pull out the brown wire. Now when I pull out the brown wire I cut it in half and I strip off both of the conductors. I connect one half to one side of my light fitting and I connect the other side to the other side of my light fitting. So since our light bulb is now wired in series with our live on this path here Everything that I plug into this 3-pin socket here will have its current limited by this series light bulb. And that is how I implement a series light bulb for short circuit prevention. This is far more convenient and practical than soldering in, you know, across the fuse holder and things like that. It's safer. I, I just like doing it this way. So what happens is if I get in a piece of electronic equipment I plug this first of all into the mains and then I plug my device into this trailing socket here. So what can happen if I plug it in and the light bulb comes on and stays on then I know I have a short circuit and I know that I cannot plug that device into the mains without this protection otherwise it will blow a fuse or something else. If I plug my device into this socket here, the light comes on for a second and then goes off, I know that it's merely just charging up the main filter capacitor and there's no short circuit on the device. 
And that's my video for today, guys. That is my implementation of a series light bulb for short circuit protection. It makes things really convenient for me. There's no soldering and I just plug whatever I need into the three pin socket and it tells me if there's a short circuit or not. Obviously because you guys are from different countries, a lot of you, um, the wiring is different and the fittings are different as well. But the concept of introducing a light bulb in series with what you're testing does hold so hopefully somebody has got some use out of it if there's enough of a demand I can you know redraw this for the fittings and the wire colorings in other countries if you want me to do that post it in the comments below I'll be back with another fix soon and I'll see you then